Okay, so with your drape mold today, if you're done connecting all of your pieces, I have my cup of water here. Actually, I'll put this over here and my paintbrush. So ideally, as you were scoring and slipping, you were smoothing out any uh, slip that was falling out and smoothing out any edges that were rough. Uh, if not, today's a good day to do that. Now, this is still pretty soft. I could add more pieces to it, but it's dry enough that I can flip it and take this out and now start to work on the inside. So again, I'm just gonna add some water to my brush and I'm just smoothing out all those yucky textures. And I'm gonna do the same thing here with my slump mold. This clay is a little bit softer. So first I do my inside. I can take this out. Maybe I'll actually take my grape mold and put that inside of my slump molded piece so that I have something to hold this on top of. And you can see all these kind of lines from the plastic bag that I wanna smooth out. So another thing too, we're not gonna to get too ambitious with this one because this is our practice piece, but you can add texture to this. So if I wanted to draw into it, maybe I define these lines where they overlap. I can kind of carve into it and press in there. But the goal here is really to clean it up. Craftsmanship is our goal with this once we've created our piece. So once I feel like that's pretty nice and clean, um, I'm gonna just put it back in here, put my plastic bag in my mold. I'm gonna put that back in there because this clay is really soft because I'm still working with it. Now overnight, if, for me to finish, if I'm done completely forming and somewhat cleaned up, I don't want this to dry out totally. So I'm gonna keep this in the plastic bag, but I'm gonna close it lightly and let it dry a little bit overnight. So tomorrow I can do my last little bit of cleaning. 